A member of a prominent white family, Juliet Hampton Morgan spoke out against racial injustices in 1940s and 50s Alabama. She was born on February 21, 1914 in Montgomery, Alabama. Her family's status, wealth, and connections afforded her access to the best schools and opportunities. After attending the University of Alabama, Juliet took a job as a public school teacher and later as a research superintendent with the Montgomery Public Library System. Typically, white citizens, especially those from wealthy families like Juliet's, drove to work. Juliet, on the other hand, suffered from severe anxiety and panic attacks and was unable to drive herself. As a result, she chose to use public transportation. For years before the bus boycott, Juliet witnessed the harsh treatment of African Americans on Montgomery buses. She reflected on the time she wished she had spoken out against the treatment, saying, I have heard some bus drivers use the tone and manners of mule drivers in their treatment of Negro passengers. It was customary for black passengers to pay their fare, leave the bus, then re-enter through the back door. One evening, she observed a black woman pay her fare and leave to re-enter the bus. Juliet watched as the bus driver drove away, leaving the woman behind. Juliet jumped into action, pulling the emergency cord and demanded the bus driver stop and let the woman on the bus. After the incident, she spoke up any time she witnessed discrimination on a city bus. Juliet remained outspoken about the mistreatment of African Americans and her discontent with her hometown. On many occasions, she wrote about her experiences and observations in letters to the editor of the Montgomery Advertiser. She also participated in letter writing campaigns in support of anti-lynching legislation and the abolition of the poll tax. Her work and outspoken nature came at a high cost. She was shunned by family members and friends. Many white citizens were outraged by her activism and demanded she be fired from her job at the library. On July 15, 1957, a cross was burned in her front yard. She resigned from her position the next day. In a letter to friend and editor James Dombrowski, Juliet listed several reasons and instances that led to her current position as a civil rights activist. She wrote, And then I saw on the bus, I think, James Adams' classic question, Who, if not you? When, if not now? So I went at it. Juliet Hampton Morgan died from an apparent suicide in her home in 1957. She is remembered as a woman of integrity and strength in her stand against racism.